Hey everybody, welcome back. So since it's like a million degrees outside here today, well actually it's not a million, it's 113 degrees outside today, and that's the coolest spot I could find on my porch to put that sensor. It's supposed to hit 115, that's about 41, 40, 41 Celsius to those of you who count stuff by Celsius. I thought I would stay inside and do stuff inside. I'm working on my own P gaming PC down here, and I got a couple of these Microsoft Surface tablets. Sorry for the fan reflection in it. I got a couple of these Microsoft Surface tablets. I got two of them that were given to me that don't work that I'm trying to fix. So I thought this would be a good time to take a second look at the little Vivor thermal imaging camera. This is model SC240M. And Vivor did send this to me for free for the purpose of a review, which I have already done. I will put a link in the cards above to my initial review of it, but trying to make sure I'm getting the kind of cooling I want. And I realize on the PC, I'm going to need to put a clear cover on it to really get an idea of what the fans are doing. But I thought we'd get a look and see how we can use the um, thermal imaging camera for that. And also, for these um, Surface tablets, this one I've got going again. The other one has given me some grief, but um, we'll take a look at those two. But let me get the camera c connected to the camera <laughs> so we can um, get a better look at it so I don't have to hold it in both hands. So what we're looking at here is the inside of my gaming PC. This spot right here where my dark colored finger is, it is the CPU cooler, and I do have a liquid cooler on it. So that's taking it up, the heat up to a set of... A radiator and a set of fans in the top you can see up here you can easily see the heat coming out there and I have the camera adjusted so both the the main spot in the center and the red hot spot and the green cold spot are on green cold spot so far I haven't found huge uses for but the the um, moving red hot spot has proved quite valuable to me one thing about this that you'll find you can draw yourself a picture and get one of those infrared thermometers and you can draw your own heat map but having it visual like this i have found is just hugely helpful in understanding what's happening this is the video board right along here of course i've got a game running so it's pumping out a little bit of heat this back here is an m.2 drive this over here are some some of the um, voltage handling chips on it and down here and you can see it's half covered by the um, by the video board right there that's the um, AMD chipset and then the power supply is down here at the bottom and you'll see the power supply isn't even very hot power supply is only running right about a hundred degrees the video board isn't doing much right now because I'm not playing the game it's running at about 116 and you see the hottest spot on it looks like it's those power control at about 141. You see, see the red hot spot keeps bouncing around that one spot from top to bottom. And then the RAM memory is here and it's not hardly even warm at all. So I just find the whole thing of having a, um, a visual heat map like that very valuable to finding out you know where my airflow is going what's getting too hot what should be getting hotter and isn't and you know how to redirect fan flow like i say to really know what's going on with the fans i'd have to put a clear cover over it so because right now with the side off the fans aren't doing what they would do with the cover on with the possible exception of this upper fan that's in the radiator pulling the cpu out let's take a look at this little um this little Microsoft Surface, so I'm going to flip it over. This has the stand on the back, so it kind of sticks out like a fin. But as you can see, there is one spot on the back of this that gets pretty hot. It's about 100 degrees Fahrenheit right now. My maximum hot spot is 103. And, of course, my minimum is showing me off on the table somewhere, so that doesn't count. But um, definitely see what spot's getting hot when you have a visual heat map like this, I find that just extremely useful. Another thing it's really helpful for is like, like I say, it's 113 degrees out today. 
So we'd like not to pump the air conditioner air outside or let too much of that outside air in. So let's go take a look. And as you can see, that's the um, my air conditioner vent up there. And you can see I have kind of a hot spot there on the ceiling, not too bad, 89 degrees. Um, of course, the AC vent's pumping out um, 55 degree air, which is kind of nice. But let's go look at the front door. I was kind of surprised. Look at look at that. Here's this is the front door to the house. And as you can see, I got a little bit of heat coming through the door. I mean, it's a solid wood door too. But um, it's the AC is set at 85. Front door is 89. But I had a hot spot at the top of the door, which is 93 or 94 degrees. Well, that's something I definitely need to work on here. Maybe as soon as it cools down, because I'm not going to do it while the door, while it's 113 out. And um, then obviously the front window. This front window is unfortunately single pane, so it is running a little hotter than we would like it to be on a day like today. So here we are out in my garage, and as you can see, we're not going to notice a lot out in the garage because it's over 100 degrees out in the garage today. And you can see where the heat's coming in through the ceiling. We're looking at about 118, 120 degrees in spots there on the ceiling. I mean, even the battery chargers and the batteries kind of pale in the comparison between how hot we already are out here. So, um, yeah, this, this thing will make you open your eyes up when it comes to um, what's getting hot and what's not. It is just an incredibly useful thing just to have a just to have a heat map like this look at that spot there that's a an access hole up into the attic jeez so um and this of course can take snapshots and it can record videos i find the videos to be of somewhat limited use because none of the information on the screen is on the video but i'm telling you it it's just I just can't tell you how useful I find a visual heat map like this, like you'll see on this Vivor thermal imaging camera to be. And I remember back when these things cost a thousand bucks, I wanted one really bad. But of course, I wasn't likely to spend a thousand dollars for one. But now that you can get them for under 200, uh, anybody who's trying to build a PC, a high performance PC, or trying to troubleshoot problems with cars, especially if you live in an area like I do, or problems with circuit boards or any other type of machinery where a hotspot might cause you a problem, this is just an incredibly valuable tool to have. And I think this Vivor unit works perfectly fine. Anyway, I wanna thank Vivor again for sending this out to me. And um, I wanna thank you guys for watching my videos. And <laughs> look at that, and I will put, um. I will put links to everything below. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys who are in heat hot spots like me are staying out of it. And um, yeah, I'm just going to go into hibernation and hope that this will pass by here in the next couple of weeks. Not like it, not like 115 degrees is that unusual for Arizona this time of year, but I'm pretty sick of it, and I'm hoping that we drop back down into the upper 90s. My wife will have a sweater on and um, I can start doing things again. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.